Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some dredge in standard. That's right. We have a donation deck to try to play some dredge. So we're going to be self milling ourselves and trying to get some value from that. The word dredge, if you're not very familiar with it, it's a keyword from the original Ravnica block that is kind of referring to uh, recursion from from your graveyard. Basically, the, the keyword dredge allows you to uh, bring back cards from your graveyard by uh, milling cards over from your library for your draw step. Um, so it's, you know, we're not doing exactly that, of course, that that is not in standard right now. But what we are doing um, is we are going to be trying to mill ourselves by, you know, mill ourselves with the help of Drowned Secrets in particular. Every blue spell that we cast, we will mill two cards. Then we also have Wanda Vertebrae, which can just kind of singularly mill ourselves some each turn. And then our, our brand new card from War of the Spark, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, that we'll take up and be able to mill ourselves as well. So while we're self-milling, we need to get some value from that. So we got Narcomoebas that if we ever mill a Narcomoeba, we put it from our gr graveyard in, uh, back into the library. Or sorry, sorry, back onto the battlefield. Uh, we milled over from the graveyard, put it back on the battlefield. We got those Creeping Chills that if we mill this over, then we get to deal three damage to our opponent and we gain three life. And then, of course, the Arclight Phoenixes that whenever they're in the graveyard, all we got to do is cast three of our instant and sorceries here with the Ops, Tridacorus, Radical Ideas, Mission Briefings, and Discovery. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I don't think I've ever played Standard Dredge since Arclight Phoenix has come out. So this is going to be a new one for me. Um, and our, our sideboard... This isn't like the kind of deck that does a whole lot of sideboarding or um, has a great sideboard kind of thing. Like we have our, our main game plan and it's hard to take away from your main game plan with like a whole bunch of removal spells. But that's kind of what we got over there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and give this a try. Ooh, no, no, no Ashiok. Ooh, yeah, Ashiok could be pretty nice in this. But no, we don't. Don't have any Ashioks. This this was of course a donation deck here. I didn't I didn't put this together. <clears throat> but yeah, Ashiok could be kind of nice. How you get to mill yourself for five with Ashiok and then and then you exile their graveyard. Yeah, that'll be one that we'll um we'll think about. And then, yeah, we have Jace as the alternate win con. Yep, absolutely. All right, looks pretty decent. Hey, what's up, Pruger? Hmm. All right, so we need six mana, <clears throat> of course, to bring back our Phoenix. Honestly, against the blue-black deck, maybe I should just be holding on to Phoenix. The R stand for ranked, whenever I play ranked. That's what those stand for. Okay, we're just playing Gruul Midrange. Yeah. All right, so they got that nice combo going. Guess we're just gonna go ahead and, and mission briefing this charter course here. Um we have both of them in there. Basically what I want to find is Jace. Let's 
discovery better? Yeah, like my hand's okay. I mean, we can discard a radical idea, though. A discovery. What we want to find is, is Jason Drown Secrets. These cards are pretty good. I want the extra mission briefing, at least. Um, so how did, like, Pruger, your question is, how did the arena graphic options help streaming? Is, like, I had it at 1440p yesterday, which is why it was lagging so much. So I moved it down to 1080p, and so it's a lot, it's easier on the computer. You don't need to send as much information and everything, and so it doesn't, so it won't freeze up as much. So an opt would be nice. So we want to draw like opt, drowned secrets, or Jace. Um, I'm gonna cast Arclight Phoenix. So if they want to kill the Arclight Phoenix, you know, we'll be able to get it back next turn. If not, we're just attacking, doing damage here. Hmm. All right, well, that works too. Get that spell out of there. They don't get to like treasure map, you know, do like that that whole bit this turn. We'll discard it next turn to chart a course. We'll go moment of mission briefing chart a course. <laughs> yep, the auto is bugged. Every every opponent has it on turn two. And then you always draw whatever they take, also. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Mission briefing. Getting rid of creeping chill. I want to keep drowned secrets for like next turn, I guess. We'll go ahead and uh, do the chart, of course. And then we creeping chill them. Discard the radical. Oh, no, no, I meant to discard the phoenix. Dang it. Uh. <laughs> uh, you can see how much I play these decks. All right, well, we'll discard the phoenix to radical idea. See, it still works. Never, never didn't have it. <laughs> still did the thing. Just going the scenic route. Yeah, it's the same thing. So yeah, still just go in the scenic route. That's all we're doing over here. All right, we're hoping they don't, um, they don't like grow this thing up to be a six six too quickly. That's a good start. Whew. It's going to be some life loss right there. All right, we're going to self-mill ourselves, try to look for our other creeping chills. 
and just burn them out. The Grixis burn deck over here. Target player, me. Mill two. Ooh, Narcomiba. Trigger. Standard dredge is working. Whew. Put Narcomiba, Narcomiba. Yeah, we'll put both those in the graveyard. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm gonna choose Discovery. Oh, the value. I'll mill myself. Getting creeping chills. Nope. Alright, I'll keep the mission briefing on top. So we could have found, like, another phoenix. Could have put, like, another phoenix in the graveyard. And, um found an opt and cast opt there for like a third spell all right down to six down to four so far, Standard Dredge has been pretty sweet. Opponent's in a rough spot, that's for sure. We still have six cards in hand, even after getting all these things. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? Just hope they really hope they can't put two. They can't uh, amass two more and get lifelink. As long as they can't do that, we should be fine here. So they need something that's like a mass two. And even if they have that, honestly, even if they gain six life, like we we're probably fine anyway. Oh yeah, enter the God Eternals. That would gain them ten life. That one would have been a little rough. All right, deck's pretty perfect. I don't think we sideboard here. I didn't see anything that they had that I was scared of. Deck's perfect. Maybe they'll mi Yeah, what if they enter the God Eternals and they mill us and we hit like double creeping chill or even like like two or three creeping chills and we just and they just kills our opponent. Hmm. I mean, I like Drowned Secrets, but I don't really like having those three in my hand. But maybe... <clears throat> you said I should mulligan that one? Honestly, maybe with... Card's good. Maybe with like the two Drown Secrets, that's like our best card in the matchup. Maybe I should just be keeping that with double, like you know, have the opt, <clears throat> rely on the opt hitting our second land and have double Drown Secrets. Hmm. I need land too though. Man, mission briefing is great. That hurts. Can I keep mission briefing also? No, I need to get rid of it. Ah, that hurts.
All right, here we go. Mill two. Ooh. Get that one one. We're just getting free one ones over here. It's just free free one one Monday. So many one ones. <laughs> uh they're milling their self. Boo. <laughs> Thanks, Nirojima. Mill, mill. Yeah, you need to chill out, opponent. I think <clears throat> I think our self mill plan is our, our win con this game. Or my. Always an answer. Woo. Another free one one. This this thing's just gonna gain him way too much life. So I think this the self mill is our plan. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two. Minus two. <laughs> Rise and shine. It's how you play the hand you're dead. All right, perfect. All right, let's go. Mission briefing. Dude, this is like a sweet. Yeah, uh, I guess I need to keep this mission briefing. That's, that card's just too good. But I really wanted just to hard mill over basically anything. Um, which then I know I have a mission briefing here. So should I chart a course instead of discovery and leave discovery? Sure. Leave discovery for another time. Oh wait, yeah, I'm gonna mill it over the triggers anyway. I forgot about that. Well, dang it, should have discovered. Okay, well, I forgot about the the drowned catacomb triggers. Crap. Whoops. All right, messed that up. Lesson learned. Where's the phoenixes? There's a phoenix. Take that thing out. Do I even care about that thing? So we got 12 cards left. All right, y'all are saying that I do care about her. I need to take her out, so okay. She she gone. 
I know we can get Phoenixes back, but I guess I guess the big thing that Liliana does is like uh, lets them draw cards whenever I block other things that are they minus they get to draw draw more cards so they find more out like so they have you know get more draws towards finding like a contempt for Jace. Yeah, the jelly flies. That sounds about right right now. There's an, a lot of people in Mythic, so starting at 93% sounds about right. I think I started at, for this season, like last season I was like that. I think for this season, um, I, am the master here. I was closer to... And that's just attacking me. It's just like whatever. I'll just take. I'll just take two. I was somewhere in the numbers this season, you know, like six, seven, eight hundred, something like that. But I got there a little earlier. Like a fun new toy. Okay, so we should be able to mill ourselves out. Jace is nice in this deck. Jace is really nice in this deck. And that will do it. Alright, so no library anymore. Mill them for two. And then draw. And there we go. Jace with the win. Alright, standard dredge is 1-0. and oh. That was a good showing. GG's. Good job, Jace. All right, we got the Wanda Vertebrae to start with. And we got a Jace in hand. Hey, Sir Happy with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Sir Happy. Wow. Turn one, one, one. That's busted. That is busted. I guess I, I wish I would have upkeep done this. I want to cycle. I guess so. Oh, that's my third sub of the day. I guess I was a little behind on this the sub goal thing. Over here, sorry. Be hard casting this creeping chill to kill my opponent. <laughs> no, the narc amoeba. What? Rude. Yeah, take three for being rude. Cancel. Mind and body should move in your your so I'll hard cast this Phoenix and, and kill the Narset. Do I want to just discard Creeping Chill and draw another card? No, I want to save that for Phoenix.
train harder. <laughs> All right, Jay's time. We can figure a way out of this. Let's try this. <laughs> Don't have another contempt. Come on. Show remorse. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, so they're gonna keep Dovin's veto up. Come on, Narcomiba. Thing. This will come in handy. <laughs> hmm. Don't make another move. All right, we'll just hard cast the Phoenix. Hold that thought. Oh, yep, yeah, me just double radical idea, discard both of them. And then have have the two phoenixes killed the Teferi. I was thinking like that they'll have to like answer this phoenix. It's so, like my 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 thought process here. But yeah, as y'all as y'all know, I don't play very many phoenix decks. <laughs> so my thought process is like they have to answer this phoenix, and then like whenever they do, then I'll have like all these radical ideas to bring them back again. It's a matter of give and take. Another Phoenix? Nope. Alright, so we'll bring back these Phoenixes here. Alright, since they had the Absorb, might as well kill Teferi and then deal six to them. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hi, his wrath. All right, well, we got some backup. Let's think this. So those are our last three phoenixes, I guess, aren't they? Because, yeah, I guess we had one already milled over. So I'm not going to activate these Wanda Vertebrae because that's actually all of our... Uh, phoenixes. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> but yeah, they're dead. Okay. Yeah, they, they probably should have absorbed the creeping chill, though, especially how they had another counter. Should have just absorbed the creeping chill and then, you know, had the Dovin's Veto for something else. I was surprised they took that creeping chill. So, yeah, Cry of the Carnarium is going to be a tough one to kind of play around. Vera Day, how would you sideboard here against Esper Control? Am I supposed to bring in... Am I supposed to actually play all these negates? And the spy glasses? That's just like a lot of stuff. It takes away from my game plan, and I don't like it. So we need one we negates for Cry of the Carnariums. Uh, chill is both. It's either a trigger or cast. I mean, you can cast the card. It has a it has a mana cost, but then it also has the the trigger. Also, what what do you take out? What's what are like the bad cards that we take out? I guess Wanda Vertebrae's got to be our our worst, right? I kind of like not sideboarding. I don't know. Narcomiba does some attacking and everything. Narcomiba was cool. I'm just going to play three negates over the three Wanda Vertebrae's. Nargamiba can, can do some stuff. We need negates or we just lose, though. You realize we just won that last game and we didn't have negate, right? So if that was a, a correct statement, why would why did we win the last game if, if we needed negates or we just lose? Get some Narcomibas. Dang. Well, I, I want the land. We'll put the Phoenix over there. Yeah, they can sideboard Cry of the Carnarium. I feel like... This this could definitely be a matchup where we want to um want to try to go with the Jace win if we can try to set that up. Cuz they're going to be slower, we'll have like time to like mill ourselves out by a lot. can also just go turbo mill our opponent, honestly. I kind of like that idea, actually. What if we just mill out our opponent? Maybe that's our plan. Just drown secrets them. I think right now, I'll try to mill me for now. But I may change that. Yeah, Ashiok could be a good sideboard card. I like Ashiok. So basically, I want to try to hit Phoenixes here.
Alright, just the one Phoenix. So they're at 45 cards. We have a Jace, but they're going to be able to find some removal for Jace. Alright, I'm going mill opponent out. That's my strap. Mill them out. Every single one of these that we play mills them two cards. Like, that's going to rifle through their library really quick. I don't really want the Drowned Secrets countered, per se. They haven't had counter spells yet, though. Gonna go for the high upside play. Resolve? Wow. Bunch of Kaiser rats over there. Are they going to have a Chromium that they're going to flash in here? They need to sit back on defense for? I don't know. Might as well. You never know. I'm not I'm not killing them from 18 with this Narc Amoeba, right? Oh, that's true. I can mission briefing and negate. That's a good point. Good call. Good call there. I can keep that up for previous for next turns now that we have this Drowned Secrets in. We've got a lot of mana. Um, yeah, I played a Tezzeret list the other day. Look for, you know, Tezzerator. Um, played it, like, just two or three days ago. Yeah, we are milling them out, for sure. They're just pretty dead. Yeah, they're, they're dead. Double Drown Secrets? There's no way they beat that, right? I don't think so. Dude, the Mill Them strat is nice. That's a nice strat. This card is nice. Go and draw some more cards. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. I tell you, just D E D dead. Ugh. All right, two now. Standard Dredge, doing its thing. Yeah, this deck is super cool. I like it. Yeah, this is Veer Day's deck. 
dual deck. Oh, yeah. Um, am I opt-in? Do I turn one opt to look for a third land? No. I guess we play Drown Secrets first. And then on turn three, we can opt plus something. Oh man, I thought they were going to counter that and I was scared. Looks like we got a Phoenix Mirror. <laughs> this is jank that I both love and hate. Okay, so let's go. I'm not going to be able to bring back Phoenix this turn. I could just play the Narc Amoeba here. Let's do that. It's a 1-1 one, one that mills us two. It's an alright card. Maybe we can find another opt. <laughs> oh, that poor jellyfish. Way over roasted. We find opt. We found opt. Mm, yeah. Radical idea is good to have to bring it back later. Ugh, didn't get any more phoenixes though. Yes, give me mission briefing for sure. I mean, if they use the lightning strike on that on that other creature, they're probably just going to burn my phoenix. Maybe I'm supposed to let them burn the phoenix. Ugh. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to let them burn the phoenix. And they got luckier with phoenixes than we did. There's, there's another phoenix. There's another phoenix. Need to find, like, creeping chills also. I'm glad we don't have to shock here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I should probably just have both of these cards. <clears throat> Which I guess I only get one of them. I guess I'm not going to get either. Right, because we're going to target ourselves with the Drowned Secret, so I'm not getting either of those. So they just both automatically go over there. Alright, a couple Narc Amoebas. We'll take it. Mm, I do need a sixth land. Oh, we got six land in hand. Yeah, we're good. Bottom. <clears throat> Am I supposed to attack with, like, one of them? Like, maybe... All right, Cracklin' Drake, that thing's big. There we go. Hmm. I may be able to just like 
just surprisingly one shot my opponent of like this play this Jace kill them kind of thing. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I'm not gonna cast the creeping chill. unfortunate. So we're down to 14 cards. Yeah, we need to play the three spells to get the phoenixes back. For sure. No, milling doesn't count as casting it. It's just, it's like a triggered ability uh, that, so it doesn't count as a cast towards phoenix. We're at 14. So we'll draw one, which is 13. Play this, mills two to 11. It ticks up and gets rid of three cards down to eight. Play this, mills two down to six, plus draws one, which is five. Play this, which mills two. down to three and then draws one downs to two hmm so I'd still have two cards left in library how many drowned secrets have we seen so far one two. So there's one more Drown Secret in the deck. All right, well, let's start by looking for that. Do I have lethal by just attacking them? No, uh, so that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's only 13, right? So you'll talk about lethal with a spell. They're at 14, right? Don't I just have 13? Woo! Never mind. Yeah. Pretty sure that was three. All right, so yeah, we just opted. We just cast two ops and then the creeping chill, brought them back, killed them. Those creeping chills are like sneaky, you know? Like the opponents are like, oh no, I'm at 20, it's okay. But once you mill over four creeping chills, they're suddenly at eight and you just have to Phoenix attack them. One time with all those phoenixes. So, am I supposed to like bring in coils, I guess? beating is it phoenix with mono blue phoenix remember how like at the, at the beginning of this video there was multiple people saying oh those phoenixes are going to be bad you're never going to be able to get them back i'm not sure i saying it's not e it's not hard to get these phoenixes back hey what's up qq all right so we're going to cut the vertebrae i think that's our weakest card so we're going to cut that going to bring in the coils and i have to cut one more card yeah our sideboard could have narset ashiok yeah narset could be a good sideboard card be great for this matchup I don't want to take out one Narc Amoeba, but not really. 
Maybe I just want to play three Lava Coil. I don't like want to take out any of these cards. <laughs> I feel like we have three spots to, to take out with the Wanda Vertebrae's. We draw a ton of cards. We'll find our three Lava Coils. But yeah, Ash Shock would be awesome here, having like exiling our opponent's graveyard and everything. I think I think that's our sideboard card that we should have in this deck. Good against control whenever we go on like the plan of like Mill them out. Yeah, Ash Shock seems pretty sweet. I don't know, really know what I would cut in the deck for it though, like always. Got four lands right now, it's probably fine. The focus keep an open mind. Right, yeah, you don't you don't exile your own graveyard with Ashiok. Meditate and prepare. Reached my limit. This is gonna be tough to win after sideboarding. We got pretty fortunate they never they never had a lava coil last time. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We can mission breathing lava coils also. We do need more land drops. Yeah, War Boss was awesome against us for sure. Big difference of being on the play versus being on the draw kind of thing. Like, if we're on the play, after they play the Narset, we just kill the Narset immediately kind of thing. And then if they want to play War Boss after that, then they don't get to coil like my Phoenix that turn. You know, all that kind of stuff. All right, good. We got the shock land, so we don't have to shock in for that. So next turn, we'll be able to bring Phoenixes back. Hopefully next turn, we have a bunch of Phoenixes, Narc Amoebas, Creeping Chills. And we want to find a Jace. Also, because I think my plan right now is to self-mill myself enough that, like, Jace kills him. I think that's, like, I think that's a solid plan. Need phoenixes and archimibas.
I guess I should just coil this 8-4. That's a whole lot less self-milling, though, if I coil. No, there's not a way to get back the Jaces if we mill them over. We just have to draw them at the right time. It's good. I want to see red card. Red card. Nope. Draw Jace. I mean, the Phoenix is just dead. Might as well attack with it. So 22 cards left. We've seen two Phoenixes so far. And only one Creeping Chill. And only one Narc Amoeba. So there's still three more Creeping Chills. And three more Narc Amoebas and two more Phoenixes. I think they're dead. They could definitely be dead here. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Like, we're going to have to get pretty unlucky for them not to be dead. Alright, there's another Phoenix. Like, we're going to have to just, like, whiff on, like, all of our... Like, if we just hit, like, our Creeping Chills, our Phoenixes, there's one. Like, we don't have that many cards left. There's 13 cards. There's another Phoenix. All right, so right now we have them down to three. <clears throat> so we just have to mill over our last, or we have to mill over one. We just have to mill over another Creeping Chill because we got two Phoenixes that are going to come back. So this this mills the most because the Surveil two. So we're milling six cards. So it has to be, our bottom two cards have to both be Creeping Chill for us not to kill them. And they're dead. Hit both the creeping chills. And then double Phoenix trigger. They're dead. They're dead. I know one thing that the... Yeah, the lag... I know one thing that, like, the frames don't like, that, like, my internet doesn't like. For some reason, whenever... Whenever I click on, like, the graveyard and move back and forth, or my library and move back and forth, that really causes a lot of lag. Like, I know... I know that does. And so, like, whenever I'm, like, look checking the graveyard and stuff, especially later on in the game with all those objects in there... I know that's that's what causes that lag there for a little bit. Yeah, just creeping chill makes that aggro plan work real well. All right, 3-0, standard dredge. So we beat Esper Control, Is It Phoenix, and like Demir Amass. Yeah, my internet doesn't like the graveyard. So that's that's got to that can't be like an internet thing. That's definitely something on like the game side cuz like why would the internet change whenever I do graveyard stuff? Like that's definitely something game side.
V-Sync helped you? I have it set up at, at 60 FPS. Uh, graphics. I have it set up at 60. Is V-Sync better? I don't know what V-Sync is. The logout fly, you say it's 100% your CPU dropping compression frames. So how do you, how do I fix that? What's up, Dr. Grendel? Nice, went 5-1 last night with Jund Legends, way to go. Let's just go ahead and draw two. We'll get that back eventually. So does that So does that mean the V-Sync is better? Okay, so V-Sync is pointless. All right, uh they I kind of want to play this Jace. Yeah, I'm just going to slam this Jace. It's possible to hit Narcomiba. We'll make this look easy. This will come ahead. Double Narcomiba. Man, Jace just just ticks up, draws a card, and puts two one ones into play. Like, that's literally what Jace did. The tick up is draw a card and put two, make two one ones. That's a really busted plus one. That's a really busted uh, plus one. Well, I spent a lot of time this afternoon, like, with some settings and, like, OBS and everything, and I was hoping that lag problems would be better. I I put it where... Um, <laughs> nice to rest. <laughs> Can I do that plus one again? You didn't see it? Oh, no. Probably not. Always oh, another Drowned Secrets. Okay. Well, so yeah, we have a discovery in here. All right, let's let's go for it. Oh, double opt. No, the last drown secrets. I want that drown secrets. So I guess I'm going to just go opt here then to get this Drowned Secrets and mill them. Yeah, get rid of those Teferis. I'll just go Radical Idea. I didn't get to mill me very much to look, really look for other Arc White Phoenixes because of that, but it's going to be a lot better for future turns. Yeah, I, it's definitely PC. It's definitely my my PC is the problem, and that's why I was trying. To, I put up some settings to like make my CPU work less, and I was hoping that it was gonna. <laughs> really well, help it, but it hasn't on our hands. fixed it. Let's think this hmm.
It's like all my mission briefings and all my ops in there. Yeah, I'm just going to wait a turn and just definitely bring back the Phoenixes next turn. I, I would have to hit an opt or, or a mission briefing. But presumably... Presumably my opponent is just casting the Arclight Phoenix this turn, and I think we can kill them next turn, if that's the case. Either, I mean, either way, like, they should be dead either damage-wise or Jace-wise next turn with the two Drowned Secrets in play. Alright, so damage-wise. We'll, we'll be able to take them out at 14. I've only seen one Creeping Chill so far. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna mill over everything else, so. They're dead. And getting game one against Esper Hero. That's enough phoenixes in there to kill him. Might as well check out some of their cards. So they have a Liliana. Birdies! Attack of the birds. So good. The flap flaps. <laughs> the freaking flap flaps. Dredgen Arena. We are 3-0 up a game. Standard Dredge. All right, so I got three cards on boarding out. The Wanda Vertebrae's. I'm going to keep all these. So what do I want to play against Esper Hero? Do I want Negates? Or am I scared of Thief of Sanity? And so therefore I want Lava Coil? Maybe I want two Lava Coil, one Nagate. Maybe one Coil, two Nagate. I'm not... I don't know about Cry. I'm not, like, that scared of Hero Precinct 1. Okay. Hero Precinct 1's not going to kill me. I don't have to worry about that card. I'll go two coil, one Nagate. Yeah, we had yeah, we had Tron a couple days ago that we played Tron and now we have Dredge. Just modern and Just playing modern and standard. Ugh, this is kinda rough. Yeah, possibly Ashiok's better. Than, yeah, Ashiok's probably better than Wanda Vertebrae. <clears throat> I think, I think that's maybe one change we could make here. <laughs> Amulet Titan tomorrow. We we could play Scape Shift.
Yeah, Dredge is a mechanic from the original Ravnica block that refers to um, recursion from your graveyard. So yeah, it's, a, it's a graveyard mechanic. Oh, wow. Explain Dredge as a command. There you go. Good thing we have the other Drown Secrets. Lame. I am not going to sit this one out. That's more like it. It's a fairy time walk. Let's get a time walk. Trust me, I have a plan. Soren. Well, I guess I shouldn't be on the mill them plan right now. Vampirism, these are useful traits. Not go me Mark Amoeba. So two mana, you get two one ones and draw a card. So just Goblin Instigator just has draw a card attached. What's up, Storm? <laughs> yeah, and we're we're up a game right now. Also, not only just the three zero, we're up a game. We beat Esper Control. We beat Is It Phoenix. Two really, two top decks. We were playing against Esper Hero now, and we're up a game. Even though this game, you know, our hand isn't that great or anything. Uh, but then, uh, and then we also beat a Demir, a mass deck as well. <laughs> Time for a drink. Unfortunate. Got rid of my opt. So this game, we have not hit our lands. This is like our first game that we haven't hit land drops. We've only milled over one land also. So there's only been four lands so far in the 18 cards. So hopefully we can start getting some lands here. I believe they have a Contempt in hand. For how they just ignored my Jace Wielder of Mysteries previously and took a mission briefing instead. I've got it. I just don't have lands. <clears throat> and so unfortunately, I don't know why I didn't attack like the previous turn. Attack them. Attacking one of these things with this Othakaya isn't going to really help, but I should attack them. Anyway, unfortunately, milling, like going on the mill them pl plan, which is really what we should be doing, isn't very good with this Soren here. So unfortunately, that Soren's there. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. What a mess I've made. Man, sorry that, that it happened to your truck. It wasn't an accident or anything, Matthew. It was just like the engine messed up or something. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen.
Soren is definitely a problem. I don't play this. I'm always a step ahead. It's I'm expecting contempt here. There you go. That'll help out bringing the phoenixes back next turn. There is a lesson to be learned. Here. How many we got? Three. Just two? Just two. I was considering a briefing for Opt. Thank you, Gunny. I'll take a look at that. These are useful traits. Yeah, I'm very close to to purchasing a new PC. Because things don't seem to be working too well. Like the other th little things I'm trying. I'll, I'm going to give that a try though too. I want to mill out my opponent, but they're at that's Soren at 16 loyalty. All right, Thought Rager Soren, good. I mean, I, I want the red source. I'm just gonna. Uh, we'll, we'll go like this. I basically need to, uh, unfortunately we just milled over that other discovery. I think that's our last one. Yeah, that's the last discovery. So I need a mission briefing dispersal to Soren. Alright, that's my plan. There are 39 cards in library. I abhor my need for blood. Hope that last one's not a counter spell.
I'm basically just trying not to mill myself anymore. All right, come on, frames. You can do it. I'm at 15 cards. They're at 34. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, we're attacking them on two axes now. down to 29 so I need to cast like seven spells Get that hostage taker out of there. Uh, they would have just hit a duress. There are so many mysteries to untap with thoughtfulness before action. They're down to twenty. Have much to learn. Yeah, get the hostage taker out of there. Other Teferi. Um, eleven cards. They're at 15. We're at 11. I know my responsibility. Keep up the pace. All right, radical idea. Discard this lava coil. I think they're pretty dead. Eight, down to six. Where's a blue spell? Oh no. Ugh, no blue spells. Only time will tell. All right, they got five cards left. They got five cards. Yeah, go ahead and grab, grab another card out of there. Down to four cards. Any blue spell kills them. All I gotta do is cast a blue spell, and they die. Ugh! Not gonna get there. Do I have blue spells left in my deck? Who knows? I'm, I'm down to seven. Yeah, my arena went back to 1440. It did uh, a couple of days ago. It didn't today. You know, like I've, it's back at 1080 right now. 
but that that was the problem the last couple of days. Boom. Got there again. Drowned Secrets. The secret card in standard. Mill your opponents out. Mill them out. Okay, we are 4-0. and oh. We didn't have any radical ideas in the graveyard. They would have showed up on the right-hand side. Woo! 4 and 0. Oh. Yeah, I can show you, like, graphics. Yeah, 1080 right now. Here we go. Final boss time. So we beat Esper Hero. We beat Esper Control. We beat Is It Phoenix. And we beat Demir Amass. Like a Demir mid-range deck. All right, this is our final boss playlist. We do have an extra life because we're 4-0. and I could, I could restart the client or the boss. Oh, nope, guess I can't. Never mind. Thanks for the, for the bits there, Jelly. Getting that final boss hype. And that good luck. Yeah, we milled ourselves for 40 first and then milled our opponent for 40 after that. <laughs> Basically. Oh, love it. Drown Secrets. Snap keep. The rest of our hand is, is not good, but we got Drowned Secrets, so we're, I'm, I'm keeping. We'll find other cards. Ooh. Uh oh. No, don't be don't be mono red. Oh no. I don't want to face mono red. Be be is it Phoenix or something. Hello. Gain life. Trigger. Dilt. Jace. Mill. Mill. All right, now we're going to be milling hard for the rest of the the turns. Mono red that only plays one land is easier to beat than mono red that plays spells. You just don't know it yet. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Creeping chill down to 14. Take it. All right, we're back down to 20 after we shocked ourselves twice and they shocked us once. Yeah, we're 4-0 on the Jace deck. Yeah, they mulled the 5. <laughs> Kodoros, well, why do you have to make decks that I hate look fun to play? All right, Virde, you said that mono, we can beat Mono Red, so what do we... How do you side against Mono Red? So I guess we want the Cry of the Carnarium, the Ritual of Suts. Probably want some of these removal spells also. Maybe not Cry of the Carnarium because double black on turn three has got to be impossible. That's got to be impossible. So Narco Amoeba... So Narco Amoeba does a good job of chump blocking for us, but it also gets Chain World. So maybe I just cut the Narco Amoebas and just go with these cast downs and coils. <laughs> They're literally mono red, as in one red source. <laughs> that's that's what they have. No, I definitely don't want spyglass. I kind of want negate. I don't I don't care about spyglassing Chandra. That Chandra is going to take way too long to kill us. We'll kill them before Chandra kills us. 
Chandra won't matter. I guess we just keep all the removal spells in and not have... Yeah, we don't. We just don't mess with the burn spells, I suppose. Well, we got two two shots here at the final boss. We got the game one, so we get... You know, even though we're on the draw here, we got a, another one on the play. Dang. I want to keep this. I mean, this is this doesn't beat Mono Red. I was thinking, you know, we have two draws. We can play Drown Catacomb, and then into Drown Catacomb, into a bunch of spells. Yeah, that could do that could do some work. <laughs> Chandra's definitely not killing us. You can die to a whole lot of other cards, but it's not going to be Chandra. Basically, with Cry the Carnarium, I was kind of worried about like the double black. Well, please top deck another land. So I can drown secrets plus opt. Well, I'm glad we have a lot of removal and glad we don't have negates. But their hand hits pretty hard here, though. Not a land. Um. Good. Good. Alright, so if we find a land, we can bring back that Phoenix next turn. For some defense. Because I can go opt, briefing opt. So I can cast three spells next turn with the four mana. And we're just going to hopefully surveil. You know, we're going to do a whole lot of whole lot of self-milling and hope we find more than one phoenix. Hopefully we find more phoenixes or more um, more creeping chills. The problem is I'm, I'm definitely bringing back, back Narc Amoebas, right? Like, don't it? Like, I kind of need Narc Amoebas to chump block and I don't have any in my deck right now. That's the main problem right now. Maybe I sideboard out Jace in this matchup. Okay, we got the land. But it's a shock land. I'll just keep this not shock land so I don't have to shock. Come on, Phoenixes. Alright, I'll take a chill. My opponent can take a chill pill as well. Those are good cards. But we're going to just keep self-milling ourselves. So it's not like we're going to draw those anyway. Because we're going to mill over two here. Dang, just the one Phoenix. Uh, I don't, do I want a Radical Idea? Guess I maybe need it. Kind of need removal. Hmm. Yeah, our, that's true. Our opponent could certainly be playing Chain Whirler still. They could be Gruel Warriors with Chain Whirler. Colossus, oh, come on. Oh, strike. They have another strike? Yeah. Alright, well, that's lethal. Bleh. Alright, so... 
I think Jace is going to be too slow. I'm going to take out Jace. I'm going to play Narc Amoeba. And I'm going to take out one... I'm taking out one of these removal spells. So we can do our thing. Maybe I'll just play three Narc Amoebas. I'll just play three Narc Amoebas. Was that our first game loss? Did we 2-0 everybody else? I felt like, no, I, I'm pretty sure we lost a game in somewhere, right? Dang, you're right. I think that was our first game loss. I like this more with Jace right here instead of Narcomoeba. It's definitely not perfect. But our mulligan can be pretty bad. We have three land drops and we got opt in radical idea. Definitely looking for drowned catacomb or drowned secrets without having Jace drowned sec and without having the wand. Drowned secrets is really my my key card. Wow, that's lucky. It's unlucky. Cinder vines. It's going to be tough. R means that we played it in ranked. What's up, DJ Poly B? Maybe taking out the Jaces for the Narc Amoeba is not a good plan. Like maybe taking out Jace in particular is not a good plan. I don't know. I have eight black sources. Not very many. Casting these cards are, is going to be really tough. Down to 15. No, I was going to block this turn. <laughs> it's going to jump block. All right, we could use a mission briefing. Thank you. Want that for next turn, bring back Phoenix. Can't gain life. That's, that's fine. This will be I guess we have creeping chills. What's up, Gatsby? Oh, they're so cute.
Okay. We need to find more phoenixes, please. Phoenix? Sure. Love it. Phoenix? All right, we'll take the Nargamiba. Can do some blocking. Um, this doesn't really help me get other Phoenix back. <clears throat> All right, can we kill him? Can we kill him? Are they dead? Uh, am I dead? That's only 10, and I'm at 11? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, it's technically nine. We got him. My assistants are painfully sloppy. Five zero. The five zero. Let me update that record over here. Claim this prize. Where we we only dropped one game. That was really impressive, honestly. I wasn't like, you know, expecting a ton from standard dredge yeah, that's a two mana card i really wasn't expecting that much from standard dredge but we yeah we went 5-0 10-1 in games uh we beat the gruel warriors uh, esper hero esper control is it phoenix those are all real decks and then we also beat a blue black amass deck you know like blue black midrange kind of thing yeah arc light phoenix is just so op well, there we go. That was awesome. That was awesome. Got the five wins, defeated the final boss. So basically, as far as the deck goes, uh, Wanda Vertebrae is not necessary. So this, this was our worst card in our deck. Everything else was awesome. Everything else was great. I loved all the other cards. So like the other 57 were perfect. Basically, we could, we could just switch out Wanda Vertebrae for something else. And... Um, we were talking about like maybe having Ashiok here because we can just mill ourselves for four, you know, like minus one, mill ourselves for four, and then exile the opponent's graveyard. <clears throat> you know, so we could just, we just can mill ourselves for four a bunch. So yeah, I think, I think Ashiok instead of Wand, because <clears throat> that Wand is just to mill ourselves. Ashiok just does that much faster. <clears throat> and, um, and uh, if our if our opponent's attacking the Ashiok, that's also kind of gaining us life and everything there too. We at least get to play it one time and mill ourselves for four immediately there. And if we do go on the plan of milling our opponent out, which that's definitely against like those Esper decks, we're going on the plan of milling them out whenever they're slower and have a whole like they have all this interaction to try to stop us. So in instead of them having anything to stop, we just kill we just like mill their library and Ashiok helps us do that also. Uh, no, Finale of Promise costing double red. I mean, look, we have six we have six red sources. We're not casting Finale of Promise ever. <clears throat> um, one, yeah, like the Wanda Vertebrae didn't count towards Phoenix either. Neither does Ashiok. Neither one of them does. And Ashiok will probably be our, your card that you sideboard out instead of the Wanda Vertebrae. Uh, besides that, I don't know about the sideboard. I, I don't really have too great of suggestions of things to play over. 
the cards that we have over here. But it's not like this kind of deck. Like you just need to do your thing, and you need to you need to do your thing every single game. So like these other fifty seven cards, I didn't really want to sideboard them out. It's it's only like I wanted to like cut like the wands basically, because you you need to do your thing. This is a very linear deck. Uh, whether you're milling yourself really hard or milling your opponent, so I don't basically aggro matchups are going to be the ones that I'll be the most worried about. I don't know what the best cards are. Ritual of Soot seemed kind of awesome against those green red decks like maybe just a whole bunch of ritual sets instead of like this many instead of six two mana kill one thing maybe like more ritual of set i don't know like the double black of course was was kind of rough negate's definitely good but besides that um i don't know about spyglass i don't i don't <clears throat> i don't think you really want spyglass even against like control and stuff i i wouldn't play spyglass at all that card can go yeah, I would have never played that. Um, but yeah, basically, if you have enough against aggro, uh, you'd play an elder spell. You just don't really. I guess. I guess we did. We did worry about like that one sore in that one time. Usually against the decks that have all those planeswalkers, you can just try to mill them out. But I guess Sarkin could be a problem against like the Jeskai walkers. You have like the Phoenix is the pressure. I don't know. Um. Dire Fleet Poisoner? No, I'd rather have a removal spell than that. But yeah, the deck was sweet. Deck was awesome. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I think Ascanto is too slow for you. Like, Drown Secrets is your Ascanto, basically. Like this, this is your Ascanto. Maybe, it, maybe a fourth Jace in the sideboard. Like, this card's awesome against like control decks. Like, maybe you just want another Jace over there. <clears throat> All right, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Standard Dredge. This one went really awesome. Uh, but thanks for watching. Please hit that like button over there and hit that subscribe button as well.